and welcome to Hive State Bakugan. Today we're going to be breaking down the Ventus faction. Now Ventus in the new version of Bakugan is kind of correlated with nature. Now if you're wondering why it's no longer wind, there is a video on the official YouTube channel explaining this, but that's not what this is about. Today we're talking about just the faction in general. Turbo is the core ability of the Ventus faction, and basically what this does is, if you have the most energy, well, your cards get better, and that's, that's not too bad. For an example, Turbo Claws is just a card that gives you plus two damage for three energy. But if you have the most energy, it's plus seven damage for three energy. Now, ability cards are not the only types of cards that will have this ability. For an example, Hyper Nilius is an evolution for the Ventus faction that well, just base, it is 900 B power and 5 damage. However, if you have the most energy, it jumps up to 1100 B power and 7 damage. It's not too bad for only 4 energy. And in a faction that's so heavily focused on having more energy than your opponent, well, there has to be ways to do that. And in Ventus, there definitely are. It's easy to kind of win that race if you're playing Ventus. Turn to Energy is a good example. It's a card that only costs two, and if you pay the cost, you just energize the card uncharged. It might take up the turn, but it's gonna make your next turn quite a bit better. Mulch, however, is, in my opinion, a little bit better. It costs more energy. It costs four to be able to play, but it just charges the top card of your deck, which, is technically hurting you, but it's still giving you more energy. The catch with this card is whenever you play it, once it's played, it comes back to your hand so you can play it again and again as many times as you have the energy to play it. And once you have enough energy, well, you can just charge it for more, so not too bad. Now you may get to a point where you have enough energy to play whatever you want. Well, some of the Ventus cards get extremely powerful at this point in the game. Winton is a card that can easily start winning you games, especially whenever it's later on and you have quite a bit of energy. In fact, if you have 15, just for having this hero on the field, it's giving your Bakugan an additional 1500 B power. And to help you get to this point of 15 to get the effects to start rolling, the card also allows you to charge an energy every single time you open a Bakugan, which this is really solid. However, if you do have 15 energy, you do need to be careful about how many cards you're playing and drawing because remember, that's pretty far into the game and your deck is your life total, so. However, if you do have the 15 energy and you just won the battle, you can play the card Endless Growth. This is a card that's great at any point in the game, but especially late game, you could pay all 15 just to increase damage by 15. That's a lot of damage. Something else I feel I should mention about Ventus, while we're talking about it, is that you can mitigate damage really well. There are quite a few cards to either increase the damage that you're dealing to your opponent or reduce the damage that you're taking, especially once you have Turbo activated. And that's actually where I'm going to end this faction breakdown. If it's past January 2019, there will be a playlist with all of these clustered together that you can go watch. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell because there will be another one coming up very soon. So make sure to stick around for that. But whether you do or whether you don't, you'll see me when you see me.